Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew and welcome to the AWS tutorial series on setting up WordPress professionally in the cloud. We're going to use a bunch of different Amazon Web Services, so I'm going to try and break this up into multiple different videos so that not one video gets too long and you can kind of go through the progression. Um, but some of the services we're going to be using are EC2 for our WordPress application servers, S3 to store all of our photos and videos and things like that, all of our media, Elasticache for our Redis cache layer, ELB, which is the Elastic Load Balancer. We're going to use that in front of um, a couple different EC2 servers. We're going to use RDS for our database storage and then CloudFront for our CDN. So a lot of different acronyms, a lot of different names, um, but don't worry, I'll uh, take you through step by step. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to click on EC2. And then we're going to go ahead and launch an instance. And we're going to launch two instances. Um, and the reason for this is because we'll put them both into a load balancer so it can round robin across the two. Um, for this, I'm going to use Ubuntu Server 14.04. I'm going to use a T2 Micro. Um, you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you're going to have this as a production environment, obviously you'll want a larger server. But for this, since we're just testing, a T2 Micro should be fine. You don't really have to worry about any of the VPC configurations. Um, later on, in other tutorials, I'll show you how to set up your own VPC network. But for now, this should be fine. Since we're going to be using S3, we won't really need too much storage on here. Um, but if you're going to have this, again, as production boxes, you might want to beef up the, uh, the size of the hard drive just a little bit. But 8 gigabytes for this test should be, should be fine. And we're going to call this AWS Tutorial Series WordPress EC2. And then we're going to create a new security group. Sorry, create a new security group, call it AWS Tutorial Series WordPress EC2. So we're going to have, oops, we're going to have different uh, security groups for different types of applications, or different types of services within Amazon. Um, so for here, we're just going to need SSH access just for now, and then we're going to need HTTP access because this is where the load balancer will talk to you. Eventually, uh, later on, we're going to change this to be a custom IP, and we're going to change it to the load balancer. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave it anywhere so we can, we can access that. So we're going to go ahead, review, and launch. It's going to let you know it's open to the world. Again, later on, we can lock that down, but everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and launch. Uh, the one thing that we're going to need to do is create an SSH key pair. Um, this is just so you can SSH into your boxes. Uh, it's not really recommended to use passwords, so because anyone can just go and try to brute force your password. So we're going to go ahead and create a new key pair, and I can I'll show you how to use these. And we'll call this we'll just call this uh, AWS Tutorial Series because we can use this on all of our boxes. We're going to download that key pair. And we're going to launch instances. Okay, so now that our servers are booted. We're going to need to install a few things, get WordPress running, and then we're going to put them into a load balancer. Now remember, since these are our application servers, they're not going to have a local install of MySQL. We're going to have the MySQL database on an RDS server. So let's go ahead and jump into this first box here. So we'll need to copy the public IP. We are going to use the same uh, SSH key pair file that we downloaded earlier. So we'll use dash i AWS tutorial series pem. This file has to be uh, permission 600 in order to use it, just to let you know. Because um, if you try to use it right away, it'll give you a permissions error. So go in as Ubuntu. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to want to do a few things. First, we're going to run uh, an update. And then we'll install a few packages. Oops, do a sudo. We're going to install PHP 5 
PHP 5 MySQL, Apache 2, and unzip. And you'll say yes. Should only take a second to install. So Apache's going to throw some warnings that it doesn't know what its qualified domain name is. All that sort of stuff. I'm not going to go over in this video. Um, configuring Apache can get kind of crazy um, depending on your environment. So I don't want to give you false information you know, for a, a small server when it should be used for a bigger server and, and vice versa. So I'll leave that up to you. But for this demo, the basics should be fine. So now that we've ran that install, we should be able to go to Chrome, create a new tab, paste that URL in, and we should get the default, we do, the default Apache page. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to delete this Apache page, and we're going to need to set up WordPress. So I've got WordPress already set up here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and copy link address. And I'm going to go to the default folder for Apache. Remember, you can configure Apache however you want. It doesn't have to be in var www, um, but I'm just using the default. So if we want to list out what's in here, we can see that the index file is here. So we're going to need to remove that. Let's just make sure that's gone. Okay, that's gone. And so now we're going to let's do this as sudo since this folder is owned by root. So we're going to get WordPress. We're going to unzip WordPress. And we'll list it out. We can delete this, uh, this zip file. I'll do this as sudo. And so now when we load this page back up, oops, wrong one. When we load this page back up, we should see WordPress and then we have the default welcome to WordPress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same setup on this other server and then we'll launch things into a load balancer.